Hello everybody and welcome back to Nick Plays Darksiders 2 Death Innative Edition. We're continuing through the Lost Temple. As you, uh, so funny story. I last, last time I played, or last episode, I was in that room, and that's where I saved and exited. For some reason, I don't remember if I went over this or not, but it shot me over, and now I can't get back. So we are continuing this way now, as I run into a wall because my other thumb was not on my stick. Uh, yeah, we are continuing this way. We're there's a chest there. I can't get it yet. Yeah, we're continuing. We're going to go grab some stuff. Mostly that guy over there. Because he is very much needed right now. Now I can see that there are some constructs back there. So that's going to be fun. They're not bad. I just... I hate constructs. Honestly, if I was playing on a different difficulty... Nope. What... Whoa. What? I forgot I can dive. I really did actually forget I could dive. Well, that's great. Well, anyways. Here we go. It's been... So, like I said, it's been a few days. Actually, it's been quite a few days. Since I've last played, so I might be a little. I might not have the controls well thought of. Right? Maybe not so much well thought of. Uh, how do I put it? I need this guy. Uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed again. I always play Assassin's Creed. It's literally my favorite video game series. But I've been playing recently. I've been playing the uh, the uh, Ezio collection, and that's pretty cool because I I honestly love that. That was I I okay with Assassin's Creed. I've played since the beginning. Let's put it that way. So I've played one. Two, I've literally played every game. I think the first one I pre-ordered was. F mm, I'm gonna say four, or maybe not even four. Well, anyways, it was around that time when 4 came out was when I actually started pre-ordering and stuff. But, like, I remember when I got an Xbox 360, I got that for my 17th birthday. I Okay, I bought it for myself for my 17th birthday. Ah, oh, go away, stupid constructs. Yeah, I bought an Xbox 360 for my 17th birthday, and... I think the first... Yeah, I bought four games uh, when I got it, because they had this special... They had a special like three pack Xbox Xbox three pack and it came with I'm just trying to remember. Uh Fable 3, Halo Reach, Forza Motorsport 3. So I played I played a lot of those. And then I also bought Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary as well. Because I was like, I need a Halo game. Because, literally, that was the one reason I bought an Xbox in the first place, cause it was because of Halo. Because I played a lot of Halo Reach with my with my best friend. Actually, with my, my, my best friends from high school, actually. Like, we played a lot of Halo Reach, a lot of Call of Duty, and I was like, yeah, the one thing I wanted to play was Halo. Okay, this is taking too long. So yeah, Halo was the reason I got an Xbox. And yeah. And I was always like, oh, I'm only going to have Halo. And then like when I heard of Assassin's Creed, I was like, oh, I'm going to get Assassin's Creed. Because one of the one of my other buddies in high school had Assassin's Creed and that was like his favorite series. So I was like, oh, I'll try it. Which I did. And yeah, the rest is history. I now play so many different games to the point where I became an achievement hunter. 
Actually, it's funny. I think with Halo Reach, I think I logged like a good couple hundred hours into it. And same with Forza Motorsport. And that's when I also got introduced to what DLC was. And that was before season passes. It was uh, that was a crazy time. But yeah, so I played all that, and then I, my buddy got me into Assassin's Creed, and yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm, the, what I'm trying to get to is uh, when I got it, one of the buddies that I invited over, I had a few friends I invited over for that birthday. Uh, and he was like, oh, you got an Xbox. Are there any games you want? And I was just like, I don't know. I was like, give me Assassin's Creed. So he ended up... This is back when Future Shop was still a thing in Canada. But he ended up getting me a uh, a three-pack. So it was Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and Brotherhood. Which was actually really cool. So then that's where I started. I played. I've been playing them ever since. This looks like stuff. Oh, I did level up. Wrong button. Uh, I don't care about the spectral right now. So I am going to be continuing with my Necromancer abilities, because why not? I could do Corpse Explosion, I could do Death's Allure. I'm going to do Death's Allure. Purchase. Oh, I got another one. Uh, let's get... You know what? I'm going to get Har Harbinger. And I'm going to go back to my map. Okay. Anyways. So, yeah. I've been I've been a fan of Assassin's Creed. And that's... Going back to, like, what why I was originally talking about this is... I've... As soon as... Like... I've been trying... I don't know. You've pro... If you guys have been watching a lot of my older stuff, you notice I have a huge collection of games. And... Yeah. Recently, I've been trying to downsize. Like, I know it's... A bad idea because it's like, oh, I'm getting rid of my collection and whatnot. Oh no, I totally climbed over that last episode. Uh, yeah. A lot of people would be like, oh, you're getting rid of your collection and like that's you spent a lot of time and money on that. Yes and no. Oh, I don't know if you guys see that. If you guys remember one of the episodes... What are you doing? Death. Stop it. There was a construct who says he eats gems. There we go. So you can find the stone bites for that guy. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of games recently. Especially Assassin's Creed because... I don't know, I've, I've been in a big, like, solo player, single player mood, and... I mean, okay, yes, this is single player. A lot of the games I do play on my channel are single player. Actually, I think the only ones that aren't single player was, like... Okay, technically... Technically... Hearthstone isn't single player, but I've been playing the solo player adventures, so. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think what games have I played that isn't single player? Basically, all the games I play are single player. Hi, cat. Uh, are single player, with the exception of, like, the stuff I streamed a little bit of. But that's really not that much. Cool. More glit. Okay, cat, you can just please sit down. So this is going to be interesting, what I'm do about to do. This one opens, the other closes. 
Anyways, what's in this chest? I think this was a key. Yeah, this is the uh, bone key. Sweet. Now, I know a lot of people would be like, wait, Assassin's Creed is your favorite game? I thought you said Pokemon's your favorite game. <sighs> See, this, that, that's, that's where it's a little tough. Because I like both. That's my issue. Pokemon is probably the very first series I've actually, like, played played. It's what got me in true video games. Pokemon will always be, like, my number one. Okay, if we go with top three, it's, it's gonna be... Pokemon as number one, and then Assassin's Creed is number two, and I don't know what I would actually put at number three because that's a that's a really hard uh, one to pick. Like I'm I'm turning around right now to look at what I have. I don't know. Like I want to say I just want to generalize and say uh, Legend of Zelda, but that's that's a really big generalization. So I'm not going to just generalize that. Nope. Okay. Uh, that was the wrong button. I thought I could actually just zoom across that like you could in the first one. But I don't actually remember because it's been a while. See, I want to say Legend of Zelda is, like, my third favorite video game series, but when you think, like, when I think about it, not including the two that are, okay, not including the two that are, that are on the channel right now, which is Skyward Sword and Link's Awakening, I've only actually played three. Three Legend of Zelda games. And that would be... Ocarina of Time, which I've never actually beaten. I got to the second last dungeon, the Shadow Dungeon. Uh, yeah, Ocarina of Time. Wind Waker, which I beat twice. Because I got to the New Game Plus portion of it. And... Twilight Princess, which I don't know if I beat. Okay, I need my construct for that. Where'd this guy come from? Oh well. Oh, that hammer is nice. That's... That is a wonderful hammer. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oof, that's a really tough one. Because I could just generalize and be like... Smash Bros. is great too. But, like, Smash Bros. is one of my favorites. But, like... That's not... I don't know if... See, that's a tough one. Because I don't know if I could actually just be like... Generalize Smash Bros. Because... I don't know. I, I, I'm going to say, yeah. Number three is good. It is most likely, most definitely, Legend of Zelda. What? Okay, there we go. That's one there. Get rid of all this junk. Thank you, Construct. Because there's another chest here. But yeah, no, I... Uh, oh, good, a dungeon map. Okay. This is a nice wide dungeon. It's a long dungeon. Uh, there's an upstairs there. That's the only portion that's upstairs, isn't it? Yeah. And apparently there was a downstairs over there, which I have been in, but I did not grab that chest, so I might have to do that off camera. I was about to say behind camera, but no, I don't know. I just gotta figure out which room I want to go in. I could go there, or I could go... I'm gonna go across, because that's technically the same room. That is just a bottom, not a bottomless pit, that is just a very deep drop. Okay, so there's just a treasure chest in here, so that's... Fine. Oh, bye, cat. So, we'll let's see what's in there. Another scythe, and that was blue, so I think that's even rarer. Oh, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually end the episode... Come on. We're going to end the episode there. 
and we're going to continue this next time so be sure to stay tuned for that if you guys want to be notified when the next video goes up make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and while you guys are clicking on stuff make sure you guys click on the links down in the description to follow me on social media and on twitch well there you have it that's uh this is darksiders 2 death in edition and we're going to continue this room next time because i see that there's enemies on the wall so stay tuned for that anyways thank you guys for watching this episode i'll see you next time bye, -bye.